Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at data types in Python and how those can be affected by um, uh, basically what we do with them. So we're going to be talking about how to change data types and the errors that can occur when you are um, trying to use data and it's in the wrong format. So let's just start off by um, doing a simple sum in Python and having that work it out for us. So um, I've got my variable here, math, and I'm just saying that it equals 5 plus 5. I'm going to print out the variable by, type, by uh, pr typing print, and inside my brackets I'm just going to write the variable name. Now you notice here that I haven't put any speech marks on it, because when I'm printing out a variable it doesn't need speech marks. I put speech marks for uh, printing out any text that I want, um, any strings of text. But this is just a variable, so it just needs the actual variable name written exactly as you've written it above. So, math equals 5 by 5. Uh, let's print math and see what happens. So it works it out for us. So 5 plus 5, it understands what that actually is. So let's have a look at... Um, uh, this these two numbers. So at the moment, Python recognizes that these two are numbers. If we were to put speech marks around these two numbers, Python would recognize them as strings. So what it's saying here is Python would recognize these two things as um, uh, letters instead of numbers. So if we run this, Instead of adding them together, as you would do in maths, it's just put the two um, numbers next to each other. So if you had, for example, a first name and a last name, and you were trying to get those two variables to be next to each other, um, this would be the way to do it. But if you are obviously wanting to do some maths and multiplication and things like that, this isn't going to be the way to do it because it's set to the wrong data type. Let's have a look here for a second, and um, we're going to make a quick program um, just to demonstrate um, different data types. We're going to make a program which allows a user to input two different numbers, and then we'll just add those numbers together. So we'll just do input equals, oh, sorry, number one equals input. and we ask them for their first number, and then number two equals input, and we just ask them for their second number, and all we're going to do is um, do math equals number one plus number two. So, if we're asking the user to put two numbers in, um, our math variable will add the two numbers together and then it will print out the answer. Seems pretty self-explanatory. But Let's see what happens when we run the program. So it's asking for my first number, that's uh, 5, and my second number 5. So I'm expecting the answer to be 10, but it's again it's got 55. Now, the reason this is, is our input statements. Whenever we input into Python like this, um, Python is actually inputting and saving these as strings. So even if you're putting numbers in, Python thinks they are text. A way to change this is to use the integer data type. So if I was to write int input like this, the first number would be uh, treated like a number instead of a letter now. So if I've written int, this changes the data type of my first input. Um, a little bit about formatting here. Bear in mind I've got a second bracket here, so I need two brackets at the end of the program, at the end of this line. So I've got one bracket, two bracket, so I need two brackets there. It's very easy to forget that and that will throw up a little error if you don't do it correctly. So add a integer line to the second line here as well. So now I've changed both of those uh, variables into integers. That's called um, casing to change one variable's uh, data type to another one. Let's run it and see how that looks. First number, is it the same numbers again? Five, second number five. There we go. The numbers are being treated uh, properly now. So say for example um, I now want to change um, maths into a string. So I have my math 
here, my math variable, and I want to change this into a string. So actually, the numbers are contained inside there. I want those to be treated like letters and not treated like numbers. So I can do this by going uh, math equals str math. So what I'm saying here is that um, the variable inside maths is now going to be equal to a string. And let's just um, uh, demonstrate this by printing math plus math. So what we should happen, what should happen is whatever maths number is here, um, as being treated as a number at this point, because it's an integer, it's being treated as a number at this point. By the time it gets to this line, it will be treated as a string because it is changed into a string. And then by the time we get to here, instead of adding the two numbers together like we would expect in maths, it will just copy the number next to each other. So let's do five again. Five, second number five. So we have 10, which is five plus five, but then our maths plus maths at the bottom here, our maths plus maths at the bottom here, um, is putting it down as 10, 10, and that is because we've changed it back into a string. So there are other ways and other um, data types as well. We have uh, integers, real data types, Boolean, all sorts of bits and pieces, but as a basic starting point, you will need to know um, what an integer is, what a string is, and how to swap one, uh, one for another and back and, back and forth, basically. So I hope you've liked that quick lesson and be sure to have a look at some other bits and pieces that we've got coming up.